Happy Friday, everybody. My name is Stuart Huggins, and I'm a student minister here at the Wesley Center in Chattanooga. And today's daily Bible readings for today are Psalm 27, Genesis 14, 17 through 24, and Philippians 3, 17 through 20. And I'm going to be reading from Philippians today. Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often before, I say it again with tears in my eyes, that there are many whose conduct shows that they are really enemies of the cross. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They bring about shameful things, and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives, and we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our Savior. So this is a pretty this is pretty cut and dry, right? Um uh, Paul is is talking during the in the in this letter to the Church of Philippi, and um it, to me, it kind of also reflects some things that we see in today's world. We see we see people who we think are the coolest people ever, and we're hanging out with them. They're friends and everything, but their actions are not really what we need our spiritual lives need in them. Um, we might think they're fun to be around, but they might be a really, really negative influence on us. Um, and maybe that being a quote-unquote toxic person in our lives, personality-wise, really draining you down. Um, and not to say that, you know, it's someone who's usually a pretty good person to you. They have one bad day and they, you, and that just, you know, that one bad day reflects for them that one day, uh, these are people who, um, are every single day, this exact same rinse and repeat thing they have going on in their lives. It's become who they are, but instead follow the life of Paul, who we know is the very first kind of the first social media ministry using the social medias of his time, which were letters to uh, spread the gospel. And uh, that was his calling. That's what he, he was called to do. And he's calling us to follow our call and that God has in store for us as well, essentially is what he's talking about. So uh, I want to encourage you guys to um, not follow along with the trends uh, of today's world because the trends of today's world, a lot of them are only focused on our earthly lives here today in our spiritual lives in hundreds of years down the line. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And if you have not seen the Batman yet, go see it. As a Batman fan, I can say that I approve of, uh, approve of this message. Anyway, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.